Hello, my name is Jack Kelly. I'm from the Fulhamish podcast and I'll be giving you Spurs fans the insight into the inevitable signing of Ryan Sessegnon for Fulham, which looks to be about £25 million pounds, um, with Josh Onoma coming the other way um, to Craven Cottage. Now, um, I have a list of questions uh, that I'm going to answer for you. So what I think it will be on the left-hand side in terms of uh, the left wing. Uh, predominantly he's played there for us, that's where he's got all his goals. He, he started at left back but then we realised he was a more inverted forward and we put him at left wing and, and that's where uh, he, he really shone for us. Um, in terms of for Spurs, um, I was reading somewhere that Pochettino wants him as a left winger and then long term put him back at left back. Um, I think it's obviously very difficult to say because the competition that Spurs team it is so huge and, and so busy and so congested. Um, I think Sessegnon's probably going to feature in the Cup uh, predominantly um, earlier on in his career. I really hope he does have a fantastic um, uh, career at Tottenham because I really do think he's a special player. So I would say his strong position is left wing and that's where I would play him. Well, I mean he had the season last season, he scored two goals against Cardiff and Wolves. He wasn't the greatest, although we weren't the greatest, in fact we were one of the poorest sides in recent Premier League history. Is he ready for the Premier League? I think yes. I think he's matured as a player. I think he knows the game well. I think he's he's clever on the ball. He's not one to do loads of step overs and tricks. He's very much, you know, run at the defender, try and get round and, and, and put a whip of ball into the box. And um, I think if he's playing around good players, you know, the likes of Mora, Kane, Son, Ericsson, if he stays, um, then I think he will get better as a player, he will learn from, from those types of players and, and, and that is where I think Ryan will go from strength to strength uh, and he's got a fantastic coach in Mauricio Pochettino. Um, I do hope he gets some Premier League minutes this season, I feel like um, he deserves it and I think um, I feel like a proud father today, kind of um, seeing his son off to, uh, to a university or, or to some, some kind of um, excellent college because I think Spurs is the perfect place uh, for Ryan Sessegnon. I think he is just about ready for the Premier League. Well, I mean, about a year ago when we were going into the Premier League, he was probably worth double, um, around 40 to 50 million because of just how explosive he was in, in that championship season that got us promoted. I think um, he just was all round looking one of the best English youth players there is, but uh, there, there was at the time. But now we're seeing the likes of Phil Foden, we're seeing the likes of Jaden Sancho and um, you know Joe Gomez, who I, who I rate very, very highly. So, uh, and then after, the, of course, the Premier League season and, and the little effect he did have on our team is obviously his price went low, um, obviously decreased um, because of his performances. So I'm happy with 25 million. I think um, it helps us in, in financial fair play. It helps us bring in some money. It helps us. Um, trigger some deals that we want to do on deadline day. I think Spurs um, have done some decent business. Um, Daniel Levy being Daniel Levy and leaving it to the last minute, pushing all his deals to the last day, uh, apart from of course M. Dombele, which is a terrific signing. Um, Spurs have got a good player here and I think it will be worth the money. I think um, in two, three years he could be worth more. Uh, I, I can't, it's very unpredictable with Ryan because obviously I'm not too sure how many minutes he's going to get. I'd like to think that um, we're going to have some kind of sell-on fee um, in, in, the, in the contract, in the clause somewhere, so if Tottenham do so in a few years' time that we're going to get some small percentage. I think Spurs have got a very, very good deal for £25 million. He is a poacher. He likes to kind of feed off the scraps. Mitrovic gets shots away, saves, and then Ryan Sestron is just there to pounce and score. Uh, yeah, he's very good at reading the play. He, he gets inside, himself inside the box in, in good positions, and then, and then, um, you know, he's, he's a good, good um, finisher. Um, his instincts are, are very, very good. He scored a lot of goals from inside the box. I think he scored one goal for Fulham from outside the box against Sheffield United a couple of seasons ago. The kid's got talent, and, and he knows the game well, he reads it well, and um, I, I would watch him kind of lingering, if he's playing left wing, lingering outside the box, and, and when there's an opportunity, he'll probably make those darting runs into the far post to, to maybe tap in um, from, from, from low crosses from the likes of Son and, and Moore and Lamella. So um, I'd say that's his best asset. 
he's a good dribbler, but I wouldn't trust him on like a one-on-one -on -one situation in terms of if he's one-on-one -on -one against a defender. Um, sometimes he kind of gets caught out and, and, and he's a little bit too predictable, but he has um, played some really good passes. I, if you do want to look at Sessi on it and his, and his kind of um, what he can do in terms of assisting goals, I'd look at the goal between Fulham and Huddersfield last season where Fulham won it in the last minute. Uh, Fulham broke away. Brian Sessignon had it on the left-hand side. He kind of jilted it inside, played a lovely ball to make sure it was scored uh, with a first-time shot to win the game in the last minute. Ryan Sessignon has potential, and, I, and I, the more I think about it, the more I feel like he'll really thrive at Tottenham. Um, so just watch out for him. In his early days, he wasn't quite as bulky. Um, he, he was quite weak on the ball, but, but now he's kind of bulked up and... It's still maybe an issue that he's maybe not as strong on the ball as, as anyone. I think if he was in defence as well, one of his flaws is that he's maybe not the greatest at you know man mark, not man marking, but um, you know stand tackles, slide tackles. Um, his best assets going forward. So I'd say his flaws are in defence. So if we do play the left back, you've got to be careful. Um, he, he might be quite quite um, shaky at the back. You know what? It's the best club for him. Um, I did say to a few friends that I'd rather he go he go abroad so I have to see him in the Premier League every week. But then again, think about it. Um, I've really grown to quite like Spurs in the last year or so. The the, the kind of project they're building with Mauricio Pochettino, the fact they got to a Champions League final, um, and just the whole story that went with that. Harry Kane still there. You know, he's England's main man. Um, and you've got the likes of Harry Winks coming through, who's a really really good player. Oliver Skip, Juan Foy. So they've got some good youth. In there, and Ryan Sessignon can definitely add to that. Um, I feel very happy for Ryan. Obviously, he's been in the club for, for a long, long time, and, and he's done a good service. Maybe a little bit cheap. He didn't sign a new deal, um, but but to, to be fair, to get 25 million from from a Premier League club um, such as Spurs, uh, with you know a year left on his contract, is, is pretty good business from both clubs. Um, I'm happy for the guy. I, I'm really going to look out for him. Obviously, when he's at Spurs, I'm going to be looking at. To seeing what kind of games he's going to be playing, and if he does get some goals, I really want to see him in action. Um, yeah, he's always going to have a play special place in my heart. I've met him a couple of times, Ryan. He's, he's such a, a nice, humble guy, and um, you know, I think in the end, I think the, the move to Spurs was just too tempting for him. And I don't really begrudge him for leaving. And I think Spurs is the perfect fit for him. I wouldn't like it if he went to a Manchester United or a, or a Liverpool. I think Spurs, with the project they're building with the youth players and and the new stadium, it just makes sense for me. And that is why I do not begrudge Ryan Session for leaving Fulham. I'm thinking, oh, it's tricky. I think it might take a couple of seasons for him to break through into a proper, you know, 38 game season, breakthrough season for him. I think the first couple of years, he might have to be patient playing the League Cup, playing the FA Cup, maybe the odd league game off the bench. Will he be a success? Yes, I think he will. I think he's on that kind of verge of England squad kind of pedigree. If he does impress Gareth Southgate, he should be straight into that squad um, in a couple of years' time. It's maybe a little bit too early with the Euros coming up next year and with the talent I mentioned earlier coming through. Um, I really hope he is a success. Um, I'm not going to be uh, you know, calling him a snake or, or anything like that. I think he followed his dream. He, he stuck with Fulham for a long, long time. And again, like I say, I don't begrudge him for leaving. And I, and I want him to be a success. I think he will be a success. If he's around those good players, um, he'll learn a lot from Pochettino, from the players, and I think he'll be loved by the fans. I think he'll always have a special place in the heart. Um, I think he'll always um, kind of have that special feeling for Fulham in his heart as well. All round, it's a kind of it's a it's a deal that makes sense. Um, it, it benefits us as well as benefits Spurs. Um, I'm I'm sad, but I'm happy for him. And you know, as long as Steven stays, Steven Sessegnon, and he gets in the first team, and he can be the new Sessegnon in the team for Fulham, I'm happy. So that's been my little review and preview for Spurs fans on Ryan Sessegnon. Um, if I was a Spurs fan, I'd be very very excited. By the deal you'll be do, you're, you're doing today. Um, wow, it's been a really good window for um, Spurs, and I wish you all the best of luck for the season. My name is Jack Kelly. I've been from the Fulhamish podcast, and uh, have a great deadline day and a great season. <laughs>